Hi, Angie here from MyNextTablet.com. Today with the best tips and tricks for the S Pen of the brand new Galaxy Tab S9 series from Samsung. All right, let's talk about the S Pen first. The S Pen is the same on the Galaxy Tab S9, S9 Plus and S9 Ultra, exactly the same pen and the color varies depending on which color of tablet you are getting. This is the S Pen from the Galaxy Tab S9, but like I said, it doesn't matter because all of the S Pens are interchangeable. And the S Pen is fully made of plastic. It has one button here on the side and then a pressure sensitive tip, of course, which is replaceable and the rest is plastic. There's a battery inside and you charge that battery by placing the S Pen on this inductive pad on the back of the tablet. Let me do it again so you can see the animation here. And yeah, that charges the S Pen and you can see how uh, many percentages are left inside the battery. But the battery is not that important. In fact, you can use almost all features of the S Pen without the S Pen to be charged. So you really don't have to worry that much about the battery. There are only very few features where the battery is important, but for most things you never need it. So you really don't have to worry that much about the battery. And yeah, we're starting with the most important feature of the S Pen or of Samsung's tablets, which is the Samsung Notes app. This app is pre-installed on all Samsung tablets, but only some of the tablets support the S Pen. Usually it's the Galaxy Tab S series, like the S9, S9 Plus and S9 Ultra. So you open the S Pen app, and then you get an overview over all your notes. You can also look into your Samsung account and then the notes will be synchronized between all your Samsung devices. Sadly, the Samsung Notes app does not work on other Android devices and also not on iPads or iPhones. So you can only use it with Samsung devices, but it's a really nice note taking app. So I would use it even if you only have a Samsung tablet, but a different phone. You start a new note by pressing this new note button here and then you can start to write something or start to draw something. You can change the style of pen and also the color of the pen and then write or draw in different colors. So that's very nice. If you want to write down handwritten notes, you can do it like you've seen here, but you can also go to page template and then select uh, like a template for notes, like this is a, for a standard notepad, so you can keep in line and write your notes. But if you're doing a math class or something like that, you can change it and use this and then start to write like this. That's very useful. And then if you just want a blank sheet or something you can see there are many to choose from, but you can also go back to the blank sheet. And of course, the blank sheet is what you will lose, what you will use when you use it for drawing. For example, we can choose a pencil here, a black one. You can change everything. You can also select from pretty much all colors, and then you can start to draw something. And yeah, you can use Samsung Notes also as you know a drawing thing, like a painting app. And it's really, really nice for that. Then you can export it in different formats. Another really interesting feature, and for that we delete all of this, another interesting feature is that you can convert handwritten text into computer text. So let me write something here like, this is a test with this pen and then I hit this button here and then it will be converted into like a written computer text. You can hit convert and it works surprisingly well. I think my handwriting is not that good, especially when I draw with something like this, and, but it still works really well as you can see. So that is a really nice feature. Another really nice and quite important feature is that you can import PDFs into Samsung Notes, then you can annotate the PDF. That's a feature many people get a tablet with pen for, and for that you go to here, import PDF, then you, you must have downloaded it from somewhere, then you go to that PDF, you can open it, and then you can start to annotate it. Like, let's say this is from your work, you can say, ah, oh, this is nicely done, and then you can also highlight something, you can zoom in a bit, you can change the width 
of the highlighter and then you can highlight things and then of course you can also send it including the notes or export it as in PDF again. So yeah, you can annotate PDFs quite nicely with a lot of features as you can see with Samsung Notes. So that's another really nice feature that Samsung built into this app. And that's it so far with Samsung Notes. The next feature we're going to look at are the S Pen commands or Air commands. You can always access them no matter in which app you are by pressing this button here. And this button appears when the tablet knows that you're using an S Pen or that the S Pen is connected. Then this button will always be here and you can move it wherever you want to. It will always be somewhere on the side of the tablet. And when you press on it, you can do many things. The first one is create a new note, which basically just opens a new note in the Samsung Notes app, but in a free floating window and it will be saved in Samsung Notes. A very nice thing is that you can adjust the transparency of this note, which can be very useful. For example, when you are listening or watching a lecture and want to take down handwritten notes about that lecture. You can have it in full screen and still see everything and take your note at the same time and then you can close it again like this. The next one is basically just a shortcut to Samsung Notes. You just view all notes that you've made so far and then we go to Smart Select for that. Let's open the browser and um, let's say we want to talk about this text here with someone we can smart select it. Basically, you just cut out something from the screen and then it's cut out. You can save it or you can annotate it. For example, we can highlight stuff here again and say, yeah, this tablet, Galaxy Tab A9 should be very interesting once it's released. It will probably be a very popular entry level tablet and then we can send it to someone or just save it for ourselves. The next feature is um, screen write, which basically just takes a full screenshot of whatever is visible at the moment. And then you can also annotate it or mark up something and then again, save it as an image. The next one is not as useful. It's live messages. With this one, you can either take a photo of something or you can choose a color and that's what we will do now. Let's choose just this color. And then let's say we want to send a heart to someone. We can draw a heart like this, hit done. And then you see a heart drawing and you can send it. I think you can save it as a video or as a GIF and then you know, send it to someone using WhatsApp or whatever. Of course, you can do like little emojis like this heart or you can also write proper text and then that person will see live more or less how you write that text. The next feature is um, similarly not that useful, at least it hasn't been so far. It's AR Doodle, Augmented Reality Doodle. For that, um, we can draw something around my face and then it will be stuck to my face. As you can see, we can record a video of this being stuck to my face. And yep, it's very funny. And then we can watch the video and also send it to someone. So that's AR Doodle. The next one is a bit more useful. That is the translation feature. And for that, we're going to a German website about tablet, which is a really good one. So this one, and let's say you don't speak German, we go to the translate feature. We go here, we want to translate German. So let's find German. Where is it here? And then every time we hover over something, wir means we, haben means have, alle means all. So yeah, you can see what it's doing. It's translating words. Obviously with full articles like this, it's not that useful for this. I would use the Google Translator. But if you are in a WhatsApp message with someone or in an email and you know that language more or less, but there are just a couple of words you might not know, then you can use this to quickly translate single words. For that, it can be very useful. The next feature is pen up which is basically just a shortcut to an app that is called PenUp and it's a drawing app. Let me go back from here 
to the start of the app, discard this. This is the start of the app. With pen up, it's basically a drawing community. You can color pages here, like you've probably done as a child, but you can also learn to draw something. For example, if you want to draw this husky or wolf, we can start hit start to learn. And then it will download a video. And then it will show us how to draw this dog. And Anytime we want, we can pause by starting to draw, and then we can draw it. And I think my dog would be even more beautiful than this one from the video. Okay, and then we continue. And okay, and then we can draw again and also draw like that. And that way we can learn how to draw. It can also be quite useful if you want to learn how to draw. And the next feature is called Glance, and for that we open up the browser again, Google Chrome. And let's say we want to write about the iPad 9, um, but not here of course, but in another app like Word or maybe Samsung Notes. We want to know all the specs about the iPad 9, so we hit Glance. And then every time we hover over here with the S Pen, it opens Chrome. So now we can check uh, that's the resolution of the iPad 9. Then we can go to Samsung Notes, start to write about the iPad 9, put in the information about the resolution. But then if you want to know what's the processor again, I can hover over it. And there I see, ah, it's the A13 processor. Okay, and then I can continue to write about it. So that's also quite a useful feature, especially if you worked it into your workflow and are aware of it. The next feature is very simple. It's just magnify. It's a magnifying glass. You can magnify stuff on the screen. Works very well. You can select how much it should magnify it. And yeah, that's it. These are the air commands or the S Pen commands. The next feature has been a part of Samsung tablets for a while now. It's called Screen Off Memo. For this, the screen is turned off. You press the button of the S Pen, tip it two times, and then not always, but sometimes you can start to write a new note. This time it took a screenshot. So let's turn it off again. Press down the button, tip two times on the screen, and yes, now it starts the screen off memo feature. I noticed while recording also the German version of this video that this gesture doesn't always work perfectly. But as you can see at the moment it works. So you press down the button, hit two times, and don't hit apart from each other, but try to hit the same spot, and then it should open the screen of memo feature, and then you can quickly start a new note. That's useful, of course, if you're in a meeting, your tablet screen is turned off, and you quickly really need to write down something, but you don't have time to unlock it, open Samsung Notes, then you can just do it quickly like this. It's also saved in the Samsung Notes app, and you don't have to unlock the screen for it. But then to get at it, you can, of course, unlock the screen and check in Samsung Notes, and there you will see that it's saved over there. That's the screen of memo feature. And a similar one works when you have the screen turned on, no matter in which app you are. You press the button, hit twice, and then you can quickly start to take a note. And that's the same as here, um, create a note in the S Pen commands, in the Air commands. And yeah, it's the same, just the Samsung Notes window opened. The next one are the S Pen actions that I want to show you. And for this, you do need the battery of the S Pen. You can use the S Pen as a remote and apps like PowerPoint and also the camera app. In the camera app, it's, a, yeah, it's just a remote shutter, basically, like you would have with the camera. So we open the camera app, and then when we press the button, it takes a photo, it takes another photo there. Let's take some photos of the light and another photo. And when you double press, it turns. We can take some selfies, selfie of the camera. And yeah, basically it's just a remote, but it's a really cool, useful feature if you want to take photos of yourself. The next feature is S Pen to text and it works very similar to Apple's Scribble feature. Basically you can use handwriting in almost all standard text fields. I will demonstrate it in, Sam's, in the browser here. So in Chrome, so I start to write, this is a 
test. And it didn't recognize it properly, probably because my handwriting is not that amazing. So let's try it again. This is a test. This is a truth, okay. In this case, it doesn't work that well. When I wrote in German, it recognized my handwriting much better, but sadly my handwriting is also pretty well, so you better try it with your handwriting, but at least you see how it should work. And we end with a look at the S Pen settings. For this, you go to settings, then you go to advanced features and to S Pen. Here you can activate the air commands, the air actions and S Pen to text and so on. Also screen of memo and quick notes. And we can go to more S Pen settings and then we can activate a warning, which gives you a warning when you leave the S Pen behind on your table and go away then the tablet thinks, oh, you might have forgotten the S Pen, which you really might have, and then it gives you a warning. And there's also an S Pen on lock feature. Press the, S, press the pen button to unlock your tablet if it locks while you're using your S Pen. That's quite useful, but you have to turn it on first, of course. And after you unlock it with your S Pen, your tablet will stay unlocked until your S Pen is disconnected or attached here back to your tablet. So that can also be an interesting feature. And you can turn also on or off the sound. By default, the S Pen makes a writing sound as if you're writing with a pencil on paper and you can turn it off or on. And yeah, these are the most important and almost all S Pen features for your Galaxy Tab S9 tablet. All right, so much about the S Pen of the Galaxy Tab S9 series from Samsung. If you want to know more about this tablet, check out my unboxing of the Galaxy Tab S9 and Galaxy Tab S9 Plus.